गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश कुमार भारती क्लास चिल्ड्रन टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग वर्कशीट नंबर एट एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डूइंग इट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू राइट योर नेम स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन रोल नंबर एंड डेट इफ डेट इज ऑलरेडी प्रिंटेड ऑन इट प्लीज इग्नोर एंड एज यू कैन सी द वर्कशीट इज printed on both the sides so let us start with the front side of the worksheet so here i start question number 1 make two sentences of your own using the given word as noun in one and a verb in another let us understand children what are we asked to do in this question we are expected to write two sentences by giving by taking the given word and once the word should act as a noun and in another sentence the word should act as a verb so let us solve the num first one and that is water so noun let's save water verb let's water the plant so you can easily make out the difference in the same way we'll do number 2 reply the noun sentence i'm satisfied with your reply verb sentence he did not reply to his father's question you can see children that did not reply did not is your helping verb and reply is your main verb which comes after the pronoun that is after the subject and so it is verb number 3 book noun sentence this is an english book verb sentence please book my ticket so in this way we have done this moving to question number 2 name and explain the figures of speech number 1 and calls are best away children this is euphemism what is euphemism telling something very sad you know most probably about death in a very gentle way so see a sinner sentence and calls are best away means calling our love or dear ones you know calling means giving them a death so this is euphemism what explanation we are going to write death is expressed in a mild manner by using the words calls away number 2 have the hands of a flock any left or right antithesis opposite words are used in the same sentence that's the meaning of antithesis as you can see left or right yes number 3 from their shadowy coat the white breasted pip this is inversion the words are not arranged in correct order that's what the explanation of inversion is actually it must be like this the white breasted pips from their shadowy coat but it is not given in sequence and so it is inversion you are not supposed to i mean it is not mandatory to recorrect and write so i have not given you okay number 4 walks the night in her silver shoon now we all know that this line is taken from the poem moon where the moon is walking so it's a personification that is the moon is given the human quality of walking next cow chin is canal like a log it's a simile we can easily find the keyword that is like so a log what is a log a piece of wood so a log is directly compared with a dog okay so that was about it point question number 3 add a question tag i actually remember all my friends now you can see there is no helping verb given 
so we need to bring helping verb from out depending on the sentence the sentence is in present tense remember so we have do and does i'll take do here making the sentence positive into negative don't and bringing my pronoun i question mark so the answer will be don't i there was no sound you can see there is a helping verb was i'll bring it out the sentence is negative as no is given let's make it positive so was will remain was and then it will be there question mark i am waiting you know m is the helping verb given but we never write m as m when we bring it out m change into r and the sentence is positive let's make it negative r and i question mark hurry up it's an order so whenever you have order sentence or a request sentence you are it is mandatory to write a value so will you question mark he can scarcely run yes so the sentence is positive let's make it negative can't he question mark children question mark is very necessary you can't write without question mark as the title itself says question tag so question mark is very mandatory change the voice number 1 he would borrow the dress we know the formula for change the voice for active voice it is subject verb and object and for passive voice it is object plus v3 that is verb third form plus by plus subject so let us see he would borrow the dress so here he is subject would borrow his verb the rest is object let's change into passive let's bring object ahead the rest would borrows third form so it will be would be borrowed by plus subject so that is him he changes to him number 2 the dreadful debt must be paid so the dreadful is your subject sorry the dreadful debt is your subject must be paid is your verb and your object is missing that is by someone okay so let us bring object ahead so one must be paid it will be must pay the dreadful debt the very sight of him rattled me the very sight of me is your subject rattle verb and me object let's bring object ahead when you change me into to it becomes i rattle will become was rattled plus by plus object the very sight of him the brave hector was at least killed by akil this is passive we have to change into active so let's bring subject which is at the end akil at last killed the brave hector yes next we can do it so we is subject can do it is verb sorry can do is verb and it is object let's bring object ahead it can do will change into can be done plus by and we changing into as next one question number 5 identify the non finite verbs in the following sentences 
and state their kinds. I didn't have much to say. To plus verb is infinitive, so to say is your infinitive. It was quite pleasant working for Anil. Verb plus ing. Yes. So it is work plus ing that is present participle we all know. Sleeping out of the blanket I crept up to the bed. Again verb plus ing but here the last letter is double. Okay. So it became slipping verb plus doubling the last letter that is alphabet plus ing. So again this is present participle. The next, when I was on the road, I began to run. So, 2 plus verb, it's an infinitive. Coming to the next one, make sentence of your own using the following phrases to look into. So, he promised to look into the matter. Broke up. That is a past tense of break. So, they broke up their friendship. Carry on means to continue. So, please carry on with your work. Drop out. He had dropped out of high school at the age of 16. Run away. So, we should not run away from challenges. Next one. Identify the clauses and state their kinds. I was still a thief when I met Anil. So, I was still a thief is your main clause when i met anil is your subordinate clause now you have to state the kind so when is given children when when means adverb clause of time moving to next i was found what i love to do early in life so, I was found is your main clause. What I love to do early in life is your subordinate clause. There is what given there. So, it is a noun clause. I had no... Next third one. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no idea is your main clause. So, where to spend the night is your subordinate clause. And the word is where. So, it is adverb clause of place. I knew that I must tell this man the truth. I knew is your main clause that I must tell this man the truth is your subordinate clause. And there is a word that which says that it is a noun clause. Going to the next question. Use the given adverb in your own sentences successfully. He successfully completed the course. Completely. The fire completely gutted the house very she is very intelligent resentfully she threw the invitation resentfully soundly the baby slept soundly for hours so this was the worksheet we expect you to note down this and there is also one PDF which is shared by your class teacher. That PDF, you worksheet PDF I mean. That worksheet PDF you are supposed to solve in your language book English part. As you have divided your language book in three parts that is English, Hindi, Marathi. So you have to write that in your English part. So that was for the day. I hope you have got it. Meet you soon next time. Till then, please take care of yourself and all the best for your exams. Thank you.